Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, welcome to the lecture number nine of the series of designing and implementation of SY pipeline code. In the previous lecture, we have gone through the basic get an overview of what are the hazards are and what type of hazards are there and how data hazards have been occurring and how we are going to solve them by using the different approaches. Uh, in previous lecture, I have mentioned that we are not going to use the NOP approach because that is not an optimized solution. So we are going to use and implement the forwarding uh, logic uh, or approach, uh, which was discussed in the previous lecture. Uh, so today we are going to uh, design the first uh, component of that uh, forwarding logic, which is a hazard unit, which is responsible for taking all the decisions and generating the extra control signals required for the, uh, by the pipeline to execute its operation correctly. So without any delay, let's go through the little bit of the theory first and then we will go uh, move towards our implementation. So today the topic is of the implementation of the hazard unit. We are going to implement uh, the hazard unit of our pipeline uh, architecture. So this is the basically conditional uh, table as in the previous lecture, you may remember that I have shown you that uh, there is a uh, new hardware was introduced, which was a three by one box, right? Uh, definitely it can be a four by one box also, but uh, we have used it by designing a three by one box. As we know, by for the three by one must the control signal or the selection signal bits should be uh, two, two, two bits. So here is the logic of that control signal have been provided that uh, if I want to forward the operand A, uh, so the control signal have been named as a forward A. So if I don't want to forward any, if there is my conditions are not matching because of the uh, data has it has not been occurred, I want this uh, normal operation to be executed. So my control signal will be generated of the zero zero, which indicate that, okay, the operate the operand should be get from the depots which are getting uh, in the normal operation. But if there is a uh, data hazard and that data hazard is coming from the memory stage. So I have to generate a control signal of one zero, which will going to select the result of the ALU from the memory stage, right? And in the same way, if my data hazard has been uh, occurred from the write back stage, it can be possible that the uh, data dependency is where above the one instruction. So the, the dependence error can be occurred from the right back stage. So the control signal which I will be generating will be a bit of zero one. As we all have only three conditions, so that's why the control signals have three values, zero, 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 one, and one, uh, zero, 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 one, and one, zero, but not of that uh, one, one state, right? So here we have only three conditions here, uh, not of the one, one. In the same way, the forwarding B logic has also uh, discussed that definitely we have used two marks, one for operand A and one for operand B. So same conditions go for the operand B. Uh, just I have replaced the, uh, renamed the control signal from forward A to forward B so that the, both the signals cannot uh, mix together. Right, so let's move towards the uh, basic of the condition. I have been uh, mentioned here that for the memory stage, how we are going to uh, write the condition that if my register write M, and the reg write signal of M stage is high and the destination register value is M is not equal to zero. Uh, make sure that the register write back is not uh, indicating to the zero register because definitely there is uh, the zero register is a hardwired zero register. So there is a no write operation I've been performing on that. So we don't have to use the forwarding logic better. And it's the destination F M stage is not equal to zero and the destination register at the M stage is equal to the source one register at the execution stage. If this uh, condition get true, so I have to generate my forward A is signal as one zero, right? Uh, in the same way, if my reg write signal M and the signal and the uh, destination register signal is not equal to zero again and the destination uh, register of M stage value is equal to the RS2 of execution stage, then I have to generate the forward VE signal of one zero, right? It is indicating, okay, you have to select the uh, value from the memory stage, which is getting forwarding uh, or bypass, you can say as well. Or in the same way for the write back stage, where you can see that if the reg write signal W, uh, just you can see the name of the signal system, but I have changed the subscript from M and W, so which we have implemented in our previous uh, lecture. So definitely to make a resemblance to it, I have uh, write it in that way. And the destination register at the right back stage is not equal to zero and the destination at the right back stage is double equals to R as well. So I have to generate a forward A signal of zero, one. And same for goes for the forward B signal, just the conditions change from RDW to RS2. 
Okay, so I have not uh, generated any signal uh, condition for forwarding signal of zero zero. So it is make sure that if both of these conditions are getting failed, so definitely I have to generate a zero zero by default. So you can see that for AE signal, I have to write this condition. Okay, I have to check this condition with along with this condition. So it will be a if as if uh, conditions. Okay, okay, first check the condition. If it is one of the condition getting through to generate one zero. If not, then check the other condition. If that is getting through, then you have to generate zero one. And if both the conditions are not getting through, so okay, you have to generate a default value, which is zero, zero. So it can uh, work as a normal operation, uh, normal exhibition. Here you can see that I've shown a diagram of the hazard unit. Okay, so that hazard unit have following inputs and following outputs. So we have a reg write W and RDW from the write back stage as an input, reg write M and RDM as an input from the memory stage and rs1e and rs2 form the execution stage so it is the condition which uh, these are the inputs which are used for the conditions checking and once the condition is uh, checked we have to uh, generate two output signal which is forward ae and forward be so which can control the box uh, which are going to be implemented in our architecture so today we are just going to design the hazard unit and in uh, further lectures we are just going to uh, integrate this hazard unit with our current architecture and see that how uh, this hazard is acting and how we have resolved our uh, data hazards which we are facing in our top architecture implementation. So without any delay, let's move towards our implementation part quickly. So hence you can see I have already made a file of hazard unit. I've also uh, added my uh, uh, description of the uh, copyright. So let's uh, move with the module declaration and I'm naming it as a hazard unit. Here I know that the inputs and outputs, I don't require any clock because it is just a simple conditioning logic. So for that, we are not going to use any clock here. Uh, what I'm going to use is I'm going to define a reset signal because definitely I have to provide some reset here. So reset will be one of my signal. And then uh, uh, I have some signals of reg right M and reg right w these are both input signals and then we have rd uh, okay rdm and then we have rd w these are the destination signals uh, which are get uh, uh, condition check with by uh, rs1 right uh, let's so rdm uh, is getting condition and rdw right so we have provided both of this and now we have new input that rs1 and this code E. Yes, and RS one E and RS two underscore. So here you can see that these are is my default uh, input. Then have we have one, two, three, four, six inputs defined here. So let's see if our design also have a six inputs. So one, two, three, four, six inputs, and then we have a two output signals. So let's mention them. That forward A E, and we have forward. Why? Right, so this is the our declaration of sig uh, signals which we are going to use. So let's just quickly declare declaration of IOs. So we know that input reset is single bit input reg write M is single bit reg write W is also a single bit signal. Okay. And then we know that input of uh, RS1 out of 5 is signal. So RD M comma RD W both are the 5 bit signals. Same with the RS1 E and comma RS2 E. These are also a 5 bit signal because they are the register numbers. And then we have in our output signal, which is 2 bit signal. So I'm naming them forward A E and forward B E. Right. So here we have declared our IOs and now simple we have to just implement the logic we have seen uh, before and just um, uh, using going to use it here. As I know that all of these signals are get already read into, into the internal module. So I'm not going to use any always block here and waiting for any clock cycle. So I'm just going to make it a little bit of combinational logic here. So to apply the combinational logic, I'm going to use a assign statement. Okay, like assign to the forward AE. Simply is that, okay, if the forward AE, what first I'm going to check for the condition, if my reset is one bit of zero, 
uh, then just assign two bit zero zero here. Uh, that is the default value. And then I have to uh, check for my condition. Okay, check that if my reg right M is X double equals to one. So there will be a multiple conditions here. Right, so I can make some brackets. And I'm making sure that my RDM is not equals to five bit of hexadecimal zero. Right, this is an also an end condition because I want all of these condition to get through, not a single one. I am not using all here. And then I'm checking that my RDM is should be double equals to RS one E. Right. So let's check it if we have not uh, I'm going to enter it here so that you can this is visible. Right. Okay, so this was our first condition which we have implemented. Let's check it. I am checking for the reg right M to be one RDM should not be equal to five zero and the RDM should be equal to RS1E. It is what we have mentioned that right M is one and RDM is not equal to zero and RDM is equal to RS1E. So for the forward signal, I have to generate a two bit signal of binary one zero, right? It is very simple and same. I'm just going to uh, copy paste it very much quickly. Because we know that the assigned statement by default generate is a mux and it is contain an if else statement again. So this is what I'm doing an if else statement without any of using a always block. We are making a pure combinational uh, logic. So it will be acted as an, uh, uh, you can say that if else statement that first it is going to check if the reset is okay zero. So I have to generate zero. If not, then it is going to check for the first condition. If it is also get not true, then it will go to check for the second condition. If it will also not get true, then it will move towards the default value. Okay, so here I'm just changing the reg right W from M to W here and here also from M to W here. So you can see that this is the second condition that read W, R, D, W and R, D, R, S, 1, E. So what I have to generate that forward signal of 60, 0, 1. Okay, if all of these conditions are not true, so I just have to generate my gen uh, random uh, default value, which is 2 bit 0, 0. Same thing, I'm just going to copy this logic and paste it here. Okay, so I'm just going to replace it from forward AE to forward BE. The condition remains same for forward BE as well that this regroid M is going to be one. Uh, okay, I have to make mention it as a one binary one, right? What the best thing we should get. Right, so one by one and RDM should not be equal to five double zero and the RDM should be double equals to RS1 E and here I have to change this to RS2. Right, uh, because uh, here I'm just checking for the condition of RS2, not RS1. So uh, for, for forward BE, we are checking for uh, operand 2 and for uh, forward A, we are checking for the condition uh, operand 1A. So just we have replaced them uh, from M, W and from 1 and 2. So this is all, uh, I guess, very much simple implementation of our hazard unit, which we have implemented. Here I have already implemented a 3 by 1 box here also. So I'm just going to uh, show you very much quickly that I have just uh, designed a remodule of 3 by 1 box here. There is I have 3 inputs A, B and C, which are as uh, 32 bits input. I have a select signal of 2 bits and then I have the output signal of D, which is also a 32 bits. Here I have a condition that if S is double zero to so select A, if it's zero one to so select B, if one zero to so select C. Otherwise, select the value of default, which is a zero value. So you can def uh, design is very simple uh, design of the box. So I'm not going to teach it into our lectures. So you can design it on your own. So this is the very simple implementation. How uh, as I said, I hope this is make your concept very much clear. Now, uh, in the next lecture, we are just going to implement this hazard unit and make some adjustment because definitely there are some input signal which are coming here. So we have to make that parts for the input, output signal from individual modules. So we are going to implement that in our next lecture. So stay tuned for that and thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.